problem number 1 draw the isometric view of a frustrum of a square pyramid of bottom base side 45 mm top face side 20 mm height 50 mm when it is resting on the ground vertically so we are supposed to draw the isometric view therefore we use only ordinary scale before we draw the isometric view it is better to draw the simple solid position this is the front view and top view of uh, this uh, frustrum of a square pyramid will be very much helpful so we just uh, draw the top view of the square pyramid frustrum so the measurement is 45 mm we make a square of 45 mm we draw the square of 45 mm join these two corners then we project the top view to obtain the front view of a frustrum of a square pyramid we just start here we take uh, the axis we project this the height of the axis is given as 50 mm so we take 50 mm on here 1 2 at the same time the top face is given as 20 mm so we give 20 mm on either side then we join this which is the front view and top view of the frustrum of the square pyramid so this is the front view and the top view so we now project this top face here and we can finally get the final top view of this first one we know these points now the top view is drawn check the so the base side bottom base side is 45 mm so we 
will take this as 45 and the top face is 20 mm we put the top face here it's 20 mm so the top face is 20 mm and the base side is 45 mm the height of the frustrum is 50 mm height of the frustrum is 50 mm now we draw the isometric view so first we draw the reference line we just draw one horizontal line here then we take Here is 30 degree and from here we take 30 degree take this point and this point it will give us an isometric axis joining these two points one two three four five so we have 45 here they can be very easily projected so we'll be getting 45 here we can draw one line which is parallel to this given axis this line can be drawn this line parallel so we get one more base so thereby we can complete the bottom portion of the frustum of the square pyramid now we find out the midpoint of this midpoint of the base square that is from here we take 22.5 somewhere here Similarly, we can have here also 22.5 So now here, with the help of this line, we can find the center of the bottom base so we get the center here draw a vertical line you can draw a vertical and we can mark now the 45 mm square bottom square is strong we take 50 mm height so it's 1 2 3 4 5 50 mm height so we are supposed to make the top portion of this uh, frustum of square pyramid so what we do we just take the help of this isometric axis 
then we draw the line through this center point similar on this top on this top we take 20 mm so therefore the distance as 10 mm on either side we mark two points this 10 mm here and 10 mm here by just joining these lines together we can draw one line through this point another line through this point then there is one line through this point and another line through this point now when we see from the top this 20 mm face is completely visible so we make this 20 mm face a dark make this 20 mm face dark let's say there and the other line is this now we join the edges of the extreme points let's say we have one extreme point here the another extreme point here so we can join these two join this and this base line is also visible so we can make this dark line this can join this dark yes so this can be joined with the help of a dark line then we have this base line also a dark line now we get the complete frustum of a square pyramid we have the top face the top face has got 20 mm so we mark it as 20 mm this is 20 already the base is 45 mm now we have this height 50 mm so we take this take it to a reasonable height and we can anywhere here and finally we can arrive this height 50 mm so that is nothing but the height of the restroom the top portion can be named as 1 2 3 4 5 to as visible just because 2 is in front of 3 2 is visible 3 is not visible so therefore we have 3 dash within bracket and 4 dash within bracket similarly we can have a b c d here a 
बि सी डी आर रिप्रेजेंटेड एज फोर बॉटम कॉर्नर्स सो दे आर फोर एज यूजल ए डैश इज एट द फ्रंट सो ए डैश विजिबल डी डैश इज एट द रियर सो दे आर फोर डी डैश इज नॉट विजिबल सिमिलरली वी हैव बी डैश इज एट द फ्रंट बी डैश विजिबल सी डैश इज एट द रियर सी डैश इज नॉट विजिबल सेम थिंग वी कैन कापी हियर The top portion is termed as one, two, three, four. So therefore, we name this as one. This end as two. The other end as three. Then the last one as four. Similarly, this corner is named as capital Y. And this one is named as capital B. Here again, inside we have capital C. and this corner we call it as capital d so there is a square 45 mm and a top face 20 mm frustrum with the height of 50 mm so what we do we take this base line and two isometric axes each so this inclination on either side this inclination on both the side since this diagram is an isometric view we are not considering isometric scale we are taking ordinary scale we are offsetting the distances at this place after taking this 30 degree lines that is drawing these two lines we take this 45 mm we place it here and we complete this base 45 45 afterwards we find out the center of this 45 and we draw a vertical line and we take this 50 and we offset it here so that we get this center from this center and this reference line we draw one parallel here at a distance of 10 mm similarly to the other side 10 mm we draw another line again at the front side 10 mm we draw one more line which is parallel to this line and the rear side also we draw one more 10 mm line so thereby we get a 20 mm face so we name it as 1 2 3 4 and the rear one is a b c d d is invisible when we look at here d and b are extreme so therefore these three edges are visible similarly 4 1 2 are visible when we come from the top we know 1 2 3 4 is completely visible and we draw the outer edges so we connect 2 and b we connect 4 and d then ad ab finally 1a is also visible so this sketch is the isometric view of the prestrum of a square pyramid of base side 45 mm top face 20 mm and height 50 mm